I'm going to show you how to design this business flyer with Adobe Illustrator. Please stick around to the very end because I'm going to do this step by step. This video is brought to you by Dennis and Corel Draw. More about that later in this video. If this is your first time here, welcome. What we do here is to help graphic design beginners level up their skills. So if Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator and understanding the business side of graphic design interests you, consider subscribing. So with that said, let's jump right in. So once you open up Adobe Illustrator, this is what you see and what you want to do next is to create a new document. So for you to create a new document, all you have to do is to click on create new. So once you click on create new, this dialog box pops up. And the next thing you want to do is to click on web to set your preset details. Now, why I like using web is the fact that web comes with RGB color. If you click on print, it comes with CMYK color. And I don't like working with CMYK. I prefer designing with RGB and later changing my colors to CMYK if I'm to print it. So I'm going to select web and then click on my preset details where I can change the file name. You can change the file name to whatever you want here. And then next thing you want to do is to set your dimension. But at this point, I'm not going to set anything here. I will leave the document just the way it is. You're going to set the artboard later. All you have to do is to make sure your color mode is at RGB and your raster effect is 300 ppi and with that you are good to go hit on create and then once you click on create it opens up this canvas where you can start designing but you don't have to rush because we are not done yet you have to set your size to a5 so you can actually start designing because we are designing a flyer so let's set the size so i'm going to click on shift o on my keyboard once you press shift o on your keyboard you'll be able to edit your artboard so to edit your artboard hold shift and o or if you can't do that you click on the artboard to just down here and the shortcut is shift o click on that and you are able to edit your artboard so once you click on that you'll be able to see this panel where you'll be able to select and select your preset yeah and if your workspace does not look like mine all you have to do is to go to windows and go to where we have the workspace and you go to where we have essentials you see essential classic so all you are going to do i'm using essential classic so all you are going to do is to click on reset essentials classic and then your workspace is going to look like mine and really quick i'm doing this design with adobe illustrator 2021 so if you are not using the same version with me you are going to need to update and use a good version just like this one or you just do what i showed you now reset essentials classic so let's continue so once you are done with that you're going to click on select preset and set your size to a5 okay now adobe illustrator does not have a default a5 size so what we are going to do is to use a4 to get the a5 size let's just do that so i'm going to click on a4 and once we get a4 you know half of a4 is a5 okay so you hold on the side here drag it to where you have center so at the point where you see that note showing center at that point you leave so half of a4 we have a5 and once we are done with that we are good to go so next thing we are going to do is to create the curves i'll be using for this flyer and i'll be using the pen tool to do that okay let's activate the pen tool you can simply press p on your keyboard to activate the pen tool or you click on the pen tool just around here so you click somewhere here just follow my steps click somewhere here and then take this click on this other side take it upwards a little and then the pen tool always want to create curves so you take this other one upwards just like that and somewhere around here will be perfect so you click on this angle just around here and that looks cool click around there and then bring it back and once you click again you have a straight line so you bring it back to this angle and click and drag to this other direction so you get something related to this it may not be the exact same thing but something close to this just try and get a curve that looks like this so you bring this other one to this direction and you can take this upwards a little and then you take it to the very first node we created here and click and then you get something that looks like this okay so that's just that and then i want you to understand something take your eyes down to where you have 
the fuel color and the stroke okay so what we have here is white as a fuel color and black as a stroke that's why the shape has a white fuel and a black stroke okay so for you to change that you can click on where you have swap fuel and stroke when you click on swap fuel and stroke you can swap the black color to become the fuel and the white color to become the stroke but then we are going to take off the stroke so you click on the stroke and click on none okay so when you click on the stroke you activate the stroke the stroke comes to the top okay so you click on none and then once you click on none this shape does not have any stroke again okay so i guess you have learned something from that so next thing i'm going to do is to give it a kind of gradient feel i want to give this a gradient feel so to give it a gradient feel, you click on your gradient and once you click on your gradient you can click on the gradient tool first but it all depends on you i'm going to click on my gradient here once you click on gradient if you don't see your gradient here you go to windows and when you go to windows you will have gradient okay so you click and activate your gradient or you press ctrl f9 to bring up the gradient uh panel okay so you click on this gradient here to bring it up now it's affecting the outline because the outline is at the top so what you're going to do is to click on none to take it off and click on your fuel to bring your fuel to the top and once you click on your fuel it brings the fuel to the top and then you can now add your gradient so you click on gradient and you click on gradient here and it activates that so next thing we're going to do is to double click here i want to use this rgb black so I'll click on my rgb black here and then click on the other side where we have white and give it red so if you don't want to do that that way you can always edit your gradient on this other side as well it's all the same okay so once you do that it gives you something that looks like this and you can always click on reverse gradient to reverse your gradient to this other way around okay so i'm going to expand my gradient like that shift it backwards take the sliders so you can take the sliders back because i want to have more red than black okay the brand i'm actually designing for has a brand color which is red and black so i'm trying my very best to work with red and black okay and really quick i'd like you to know that the concept i use in this flyer is not a must that you must use for this same company or something like this but you can always use it to design for any other brand or something related to this just understand the concepts and apply them to your designs in adobe illustrator so next thing i'm going to do is to duplicate this particular shape here so you hold alt when you hold alt you click and drag and you are able to duplicate shapes like this in adobe illustrator and next thing i'm going to do is to take the shape just take it very close to the very first shape and you get something like this so you hold on e on your keyboard click on e on your keyboard and when you click on e you are able to activate the free transform tool so it brings up these tools where you see here and what you're going to do is to hold shift on your keyboard take your cursor to where you have this particular uh, angle here and it changes to this icon then you can hold shift okay so you remain on a straight line and take it downwards a little so when you take it downwards a little this is what you get okay and then you observe that this is overlapping okay so what i'm going to do is to take off some parts of this shape i'm going to select both shapes and activate my shape builder tool so with the help of my shape builder tool i'm going to hold alt when you hold shift shift art okay sorry about that and then alt minus okay so alt will delete this side so what we have now is just this and this so that's the help of shape builder tool shape builder tool helps to take off some part of your shape and also add some part of your shape bring shape together weld them together whatever that is just what shape builder tool does so now we have this shape and this other shape here so what i'm going to do is to click on the shape below and then click on my gradient tool and rotate this gradient or if you don't want to do that you can click on your gradient fill panel again and click on reverse gradient so when you click on reverse gradient this is what you get so you can adjust your sliders again and make sure the red is more than that of the black and adjust this this way so this is what you get something related to this so if you are at this point then you are getting it right and really quick if i'm too fast okay a lot of people complain i'm always too fast 
when I'm making my tutorials, I want you to know that there is a function on YouTube that you can adjust the playback speed and make it slow. You can adjust the playback speed and make it slow till it fits what you actually want, okay? So you can slow down my speed by adjusting the playback speed just on the YouTube uh, screen. You can check it out for yourself. So let's continue the tutorial. So when you're at this point, I should let you know that the greater part of this design is done. So next thing you are going to do is to use our pen tool and create another shape. So you're going to create the shape and overlap it with what we have created already. So you click just around here. If this confuses you, you can always change swap field because we are actually having a field here. Swap the field to an outline. So we have an outline like this. So you click and move out of this shape like that. Click and move out like that. Okay, so you take it to this other node. So that is what we get. At this point, we are actually creating the shapes. Okay, we are actually creating the shapes for this particular design. Okay, so that's it. And for that, I'm going to swap the field again because we are actually done with what we actually wanted. So I'm going to swap the field. You swap it like that. So this is what we get. You can change the color to whatever you want. I don't mind. I'm going to use gray. So send it to the back. To send it to the back, you press Control and left square bracket. You keep pressing it till it goes to the back. Okay. So that's what we get. And at this point, I can say, yeah, we are almost done. So I'm going to open up my layers panel. If you don't have your layers panel, just like what I have here, you can always set your layers panel to whatever you want. So this is what we get. Okay. I want to name my layers now. So you know that Adobe Illustrator works with layers as well. So um, if you don't have your layers, you can come to Windows and you have where you have layers here. If you don't have it, you press F7 and it comes up. So you activate your layers here. So I'm going to name these shapes, okay? Shapes. That's just the what I get. So I'm going to add another layer. But I'm going to name this particular layer um, text, okay? So whatever I'm going to do about everything about text will be on the text layer now one thing about adobe illustrator is every layer has its own color okay so the shapes layer has a blue color around here and the text layer has a red color around here so once i want to add my text i'm going to come to the text layer to do that okay so for the shapes this is what we have everything i've done here is inside the shapes layer okay so i'm going to bring in the pictures i have for this design and i'm going to link up all the resources i use for this flyer in the description so you can download it and use it for your own design okay so let's proceed then i'm going to open up where i have my pictures and bring it into adobe illustrator okay so i'm going to bring in the very first picture here uh, which i'm going to use as my main picture and it comes to the shapes layer okay very good bring it down reduce it scale it down now to scale pictures in adobe illustrator hold shift and alt to do that okay so you maintain a perfect size shift and alt to do that if you're using a mac you can hold shift and option to do that okay so it falls inside the shapes layer just as you can see here the stuff here is a linked file so one thing you should understand about adobe illustrator is the fact that once you import an image in adobe illustrator it comes as a linked file okay so which means it is linked with your pc if you delete that picture of your pc it's going to delete itself automatically from adobe illustrator okay but if you embed this image in adobe illustrator you can't lose it okay even if you change the folder location you can't lose it and if you need more explanation about this, you're going to watch my video on getting started with Adobe Illustrator, which I'm going to link in the description. So you can check it out or you click on the card just here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Then you click on that and then watch everything you need to know about Adobe Illustrator. I made a dedicated video on Adobe Illustrator. So most of the things I'm saying, you're going to learn it there. But with that said, let's just 
continue so i'm going to embed that click on embed and then it is linked it's no more a linked file okay it's now an image in adobe illustrator so i'm going to place it just here click on this and click on your left align to the left and align to the top okay so you can always set your adobe illustrator to have this alignment if you don't have it windows and align okay shift f shift f7 yeah will give you that so windows and align then you can reduce that hold shift reduce this till it matches that then you press control page down to send it to the back now i want to um i want to add a clipping max so i want to clip this image with this gray shape we created here okay so that's just that it's very easy okay so you send you must send the image to the back that's how adobe illustrator works hold control left square bracket send it to the back and then you're going to hold shift select the gray shape so you have select the two items you i want to clip the image with so you press control seven okay so control and seven helps you to clip images with a shape so it's just the same thing in corel draw when you want to power clip images in a shape that's how it works here so that's the same thing i did here okay so i want to change this image to gray scale okay i want this image to appear in gray because it's actually colored so what you are going to do is to right click and click on isolate selected clipping marks now if i convert if i rasterize this image to grayscale on this particular level it's going to rasterize with the shape itself notice that this item is inside the shape and this is the shape okay so the shape and the um and the image is different if i rasterize let me just do an example and show you so you see what i mean you go to objects you go to rasterize and grayscale transparent okay so observe that if you rasterize that it rasterizes itself with the shape so the shape is no more and that's not what i want to see when you rasterize with the shape i i'm just showing you this because you may encounter this error maybe when you are designing with adobe illustrator but if you don't want to encounter such error what you're going to do is you press ctrl z go back to where you came from okay so you click on the image right click and click on isolate selected image okay so now you have isolated again let me go back to the top so you're going to close back one level back one level again back so we are at the top of the design so what you are going to do is to click on the shape where you have the item you want to rasterize right click isolate selected clipping marks first and then click on the image itself right click and then click isolate selected image now the image is on its own so you can edit do anything you want to do with the image okay so i can move the image around without moving every other stuff the shape is not with it so when you click on the image you go to object you go to rasterize you see where you have grayscale transparent and every other stuff can be left at default click on okay don't forget to make your resolution 300 so you won't lose your quality okay it's on okay and it converts itself to grayscale so then you go back to um back one level and then it closes itself so you are now on the aspect of the shape so you still have your shape and your image then you go back again where you have the shape and then you go back again so you're actually at the top of the design this time around so that is just what we wanted okay so that's it let's close this particular uh shapes layer and then we're going to create another layer click on the create new layer now you see it has a green color because we now have a new layer where i'm going to make this logo okay i'm going to place the logo on this layer so i'm going to bring in the textures logo which is actually the brand i'm designing for click on embed to embed that and reduce this place it around here very good and then hit on your horizontal align center and it aligns itself to the center of the design you can bring it down a little reduce the little okay that that is good bring it down a little now i'm doing this for the fact that we need to be careful of our uh trim max okay now there's one thing you need to understand about flyer designs which i did not tell you whenever you are designing your flyer 
make sure you give yourself a guard okay guard your the, guard your work okay let's do this now if you don't have your ruler bars activated click on ctrl r to activate that most times i design without even guarding my work and this is because i've done this and i've mastered this and i don't want you to feel like you've mastered it just guard your work okay so hold on the horizontal ruler bring it to this side somewhere around here do the same to this other side somewhere around here and do the same to this other side uh bring it to somewhere here that looks cool and then bring it to this other side somewhere here so we have been able to guard this work now so everything you are going to design will be inside this uh guard okay we are going to design inside this guard nothing should go off these lines we have given here and now let me tell you one thing you should understand about these lines we have made here now when you design after your design is being printed it is printed in large sheets okay it's printed in large sheets and after that you take it to where you have the gluten where they have to cut it to smaller pieces okay in the process of cutting it they may mistakenly cut out your text or important information in your design so what you're going to do is to guard your work so you won't lose important information in your design okay so let's continue from where we stopped i'm going to bring in the text i have here first thing first click on the text layer so you see we have a textures logo which i'm going to the logo is not popping out very well so i'm going to open up my ellipse to create a circle hold shift hold shift to create a perfect circle like this and make sure your fill is at the top and give it a white color so you click on color give it white so you have this white color just here next you want to do is to press ctrl left square bracket to send the shape to the back of your logo okay so you can click on horizontal align to center and then reduce this a little very good horizontal align to center so next thing i'm going to do is to add shadow to the shape i'm going to click on effect click on stylize and drop shadow and i'm going to increase my opacity to um 50 let's see how it looks okay that's cool then make sure your uh blur is two pixel your y offset is eight and your x offset is five so click on okay that looks very cool so this is what we get okay that's just what we get and click on text because we want to start giving this text click on your text tool or you click on t to activate the text tool and then type take shows okay and take shows has a specific font the brand has a specific font they use so i'm going to use africa okay hit on enter and then you get this that's the font that's the font for textures brand then you click on where you have your swatches and click on rgb red okay that's the brand color and then you're going to bring this to this side adjust this again so it can be large enough for people to see you can leave it somewhere around here okay that looks perfect and then i'm going to type again um cyber security um cyber security company okay so that's that's it i'm going to change this other cyber security company to something else like um gotham okay so that's it so i'm going to bring it down here make sure they are well aligned align it with this and bring it down a little that looks cool and very very nice okay and i'm going to copy my text something like that copy this okay that's the services they offer bring it here with your text to click and drag to create a text box and change the font to uh let's use gisha okay gisha looks cool um yeah let's paste that so you press ctrl v to paste you can adjust your text box because everything is look looking as if it's too close to okay it's clustering itself so you can adjust the leading 
when you are just the leading it spreads out a little uh let's say we leave it at 16 these services are just way too much okay so i'm going to place it around here let's reduce the font size to uh 10 okay 10 looks perfect here now when designing flyers the least font you should use should be 10 especially five flyers anything less than 10 nine will also be good but i won't advise you to go anywhere less than 10 okay so it can be readable okay so let's uh type here uh, our services yeah uh services okay then you can change okay it's already at gisha okay just increase that adjust the uh, tracking to let's say 50 bring it way down here give it red now everything about the text is at the text layer okay so you can bring this here somewhere there is perfect now anything i want to do about shapes i'll go to my shapes layer so you click on the shapes layer and let's add something to the shapes layer click and hold on your rectangle to click and drag to get this rectangle just like that hold on this uh node and convert this to curve like that not too much just like that but we don't want this okay so you hit on your swap fill and stroke swap it okay so we have the stroke around and make sure your stroke uh width is just one point okay so that looks cool and then this can just be here everything is looking close to you so i'm going to reduce the brand name a little and take it upwards a little that looks cool then i'm going to add some bullet points i'm going to use circle like ellipse to create some bullet points and the bullet points should be red give it a red color just like that and hold alt to duplicate hold alt and shift to duplicate so you keep doing that again alt and shift okay keep doing that again alt and shift to be on a straight line now when you hold alt and you hold shift you remain on a straight line but when you leave shift it does not remain on a straight line so you hold shift to be on a straight line like that so this i think should be here because this is same service with that and i'm going to do that again for this one now i'm using this um bullet points to uh differentiate services okay different services okay you see i made a mistake there so you do that so that's just how it works alt shift alt shift till you get that done so at this point next thing i'm going to do is to bring in other images i have for this flyer and this is where i'm going to okay i'm going to click on my ellipse click on the shapes to to create this um to create yeah to create this shape okay hold shift to get a perfect circle like this just take it up here that looks cool take it up again increase that that looks very cool and very very nice then i'm going to copy press ctrl c to copy and press ctrl f to paste in place so we have two circles now so i was able to copy copy and that's ctrl c to copy you know we had one circle at first and when you do ctrl f it pastes it on the same place where we had the former circle so you can change the new circle to white and then hold out and reduce that just like that okay so now we have two circles so you can select both circles here hold alt and hold shift to duplicate so we have two circles at this point okay we have two good circles okay so that's just what it is um i can as well take this up a little so it overlaps with the shape we have there a little and then i'm going to click on the very first circle give it white and click on effect click on stylize drop shadow to give it this shadow just like that okay click on this other one also give it white click on effect click on stylize drop shadow to get that shadow so on the main circles inside you can give it another color so it stands out just like that so i'm going to bring in the two images so i'm going to bring in the two images i have click and drag bring it to ai and it opens up just right here okay so i'm going to 
embed okay click on embed to embed that and then reduce the image size because it's way too large you can reduce that and yeah bring it to where you have your design here reduce that reduce that again okay now you can place it just around there so you click on the very first one and drop it here press ctrl left square bracket send it to the back now whenever you want to power clip or clip a image with a shape send it to the back first so you select the shape and hold shift select the image press ctrl 7 to uh clip that inside do the same to this other image okay let's do that together reduce that hold control left square bracket send it to the back once it reaches the back once you leave click the shape hold shift click the image press ctrl 7 to create clipping marks now if you don't want to press ctrl 7 to do that right click and click on make clipping marks it's as simple as abc okay so that's it at this point we are almost done with our designs okay so let's let's see let's see what we have got we've got the shapes layer okay let's hide the shapes that's good all the shapes are gone okay let's hide the logo let's hide the text ah okay so we have everything just like that okay so that's how it works now one thing that is left is the contact details which i'm going to bring it in just right here okay I have the contact for textures by the way um i need to tell you about textures anything any service you see here textures are experts for this so you can patronize them good okay um okay so i'm going to space that up uh i believe you can do this so i won't waste my time doing that or showing you how to do that change that size to this something like this place it around here okay we don't have to go away from our guide okay then i'm going to create a shape like that rectangle tool and create a shape like this and in that shape i'm going to uh convert this to curve something like that very good hold i click on i to activate your eye drop tool or eye dropper tool okay click on where we have this field to get this exact same field here okay and then you're going to click on g to adjust this take the black away a little okay that looks cool okay so that's what we get control left square bracket to send that to the back click on the contact detail and give it white okay so most times you always want to use um to use an icon okay for your contact okay let's close this up a little just one step very good oh uh, just one step like that then you want to use a an icon so i'm going to open up my social media where i have my icons i'm going to open it up let's see what we can do with that i'm going to copy my contact detail just right here and bring it to uh take shots paste it there reduce the size bring it just around here give it a white color that looks cool now everything we are doing is actually inside the shape layer so i'm going to uh take this particular text to uh the text layer okay i did it in the shape layer so control uh right square bracket takes things to the top okay so it can actually go to the top and then you click take it to where you have your text and drop so it has gone to the text layer okay so that's what we have there everything about the other text the logo so you can close this up and the shapes just there okay it makes your workflow very easy and the icon can remain in the shapes layer so when we off the text okay when you toggle to see off the text see all the texts are gone okay that's just that and then at this point we are very much good to uh good to go you can bring this down a little because it seems so close not too bad not too close not too away from the guideline okay i guess that's that's better okay you can bring your icon down a little okay
okay that's cool bring the icon down a little that looks perfect okay so we're going to uh, select everything we have here just control g and then we're going to uh align to the center so it's now at the center that's just what we get so at this point we are done with this design and you might be asking how do we take off the extra parts of the flyer first thing first delete off your guidelines okay so i'll select the outlines and delete them the guidelines are gone i don't need them again so i'm going to um i can close my layers panel and then click on my uh, rectangle to create this now before you do that before you do that group everything select everything press ctrl g to group now that everything is grouped okay we're going to click on our rectangle to create a shape just like that and just the same thing we did before let's give that shape a color any random color is good enough then you click on align left align to the top then you can adjust this shape to fit the size of our page of our canvas that's a5 good and once you're done with that press ctrl a to select everything or you can select everything in this ad board just like that and press ctrl 7 so once you do that everything locks itself and you see the whole part of your flyer just like this and next thing you want to do is to export this design okay for print so this is what we have as our final look for the flyer now if you want to learn how to export flyers or export designs in adobe illustrator click on the video on the card i will leave a link in the description so you can watch it and then you know how to export designs in adobe illustrator sorry about dennis and corel draw it's actually a youtube channel we set aside to teach corel draw specifically so every video you will see in dennis and corel draw is actually tutorial videos around corel draw so if learning corel draw interests you consider clicking on the link below this video and subscribe to the channel and you will learn a lot about corel draw thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video click on any of the video on your screen if it interests you see you in the next one